guys, welcome to Cooking with Cameron. Great to have you back in the kitchen today. It's always fun. It's great to have you here on the Fathering Channel. Hope you're enjoying the Fathering Channel. Are you checking out some of the webinars and uh, getting into the discussion? I hope you are. But anyway, guys, tonight, the humble roast pork. Let's get into it. Well, that, as I said, it's great to have you back in the kitchen with us tonight. Uh, yeah, the humble roast pork. Now, I've lost count of how many porks I've cooked. But over the last few, oh, I'm going to say 12, 18 months, lost the touch. Crackling hasn't been real good. So tonight, you're coming on a journey with me, trying something a bit different. I had a look up a recipe. Now, this one talked about having the pork laid out nice and flat. So instead of having it rolled and tight, it looked at having it flat so the skin was level. Now, I'm thinking that sounds like a pretty smart thing because if you've got a curve and you've just got that heat hitting on there, you're not going to get the best uh, complete crackling. So, let's get into it. Um, so, what have I got? I've got a two and a half kilo deboned uh, pork here. Now, I've laid it flat. Now, the, one of the tricks is we've got to make sure it's pretty dry. This has been scored pretty deeply. I'm not going to get too much stressed about it. We're going to throw a bit of salt onto it. So it's dried to the touch, it's still a bit wet. So just want to get as much moisture off as possible. Now what are we going to do for veggies? Well I like it pretty simple. So we've got some spuds, sweet potato, a couple of carrots. We're going to roast some onions. I've got a white onion and a couple of red onions. So they're all going to get roasted. Uh, then just before we're ready, I'm just going to fry off some broccoli and a few Brussels sprouts just in some garlic butter. Nice and simple. Um, and if I've got time, I'll see how I'm going. I might make up an apple sauce, so we'll see how we go with that one. Anyway, dads, let's get into just prepping up some veggies. Dads, I don't skin anything. Give, give your veggies a wash, the skin, flavor, and uh, away we go. I'm gonna do chunky veggies tonight. So that means they're gonna have to be in the oven longer. Okay, Dad, so I've roughly chopped up some veggies. As I said, I'm going for big veggies, so it's going to take longer to cook. And we found uh, some garlic and herb seasoning, no salt added. Uh, this is our favourite one at the moment, so I'm just going to be generous with that. Now, seriously, Dad, that's taken me five minutes, if that, to prep that up. Yeah. Right here, Dad, it's time to put the pork in the oven. Now again, I've just gone back over, try and make sure that skin's as dry as possible. Now, normally, I would have scored this a whole lot more, but this recipe is telling me not to. The oven's preheating to 220. Now, as soon as I put this in the oven, I'm gonna drop it back down to 190 though, okay? So it's gonna sit at that 190 mark for about two and a half hours, and that's the hardest part about doing a roast pork. It takes a long time, but it's not real hard to do. So as you can see now, I've got a hold of some pink, I'll give it some pink rock salt. I want to get rid of it, so. Put a hook of salt. Now the other thing. Just a bit of water in the base. Just means it, when you put some water in there, the fat drips down onto it and it doesn't burn. Uh, so it's just a little bit easier. Anyway, dads. That's our pork ready. Uh, so, bung it in the burner, two and a half hours, and uh, we'll be right to go. Right here, Dad. So, the pork's been cooking for about an hour and a half. That's looking pretty sensational. Um, but I want to get the veggies on. So, uh, we need an hour and a half for the veggies because they're big, chunky pieces. I want them well cooked. Scrape all that oil and flavour out. Make sure the veggies are done. I just go in the bottom shelf and uh, they should be just about ready when the meat's ready. Okay, Dad, so it's been about two hours that the pork's cooking. I'm gonna pull it out so we can drain off the, the fluid and then we're gonna bung it back in really, really hot. That's 
looking pretty good. While I'm there, I've just checked the veggies. They're coming up a treat. So one of the things this uh, recipe uh, chef said was to make the crackling flat. So to do that, she just said she used our foil. And jammed it underneath. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it at that. Let's see how it goes. Some apple sauce. You got two choices with your apple sauce. You can just have it just cook down apple, or you can hit it with the blender, stick mix it. I'm gonna stick mix it and uh, make it into a bit of a sauce. So we go, that's a uh, nice apple sauce. But uh, I like a little bit of chunk in there, so I haven't blended it right down. Hey, okay, dads, let's uh, see how we go. Now, as I said, this was a trial. I haven't done this style before. That looks like a pretty good crackling on there. Radio Dad, so uh, by the magic of uh, videoing, I've already cut up the pork. So that's now looking really nice. I'm just gonna leave it covered for the moment. Our crackling, so there's our first load. And here's the stuff that had not quite cooked. I just threw it on the grill for, 10 minutes, for a couple of minutes. And that's now cracked up just that's going to be beautiful. Okay, so Josiah's wiping up our, our, tape, our plates for us. So while Josiah's doing that, hey Ruth, can you come and grab the cutlery and set the table for us? Sure, Dad. So while I plate up, uh, roast pork. What do you guys do? Yeah? What do you have with it? Tonight we've just got our, our onion, carrots, sweet potato, potato. And uh, some greens. How do you have your roast? Oh, throw the challenge at you. Take some, do, cook up a roast. So I'll uh, take some photos, stick them up on social media. Hashtag the fathering channel, hashtag cooking with Cameron. And I can't wait to see your creations. But anyway, dads, I'm gonna serve up for the family and uh, we'll talk to you soon.